How's it going, everyone? This is Joshua Davidson, the CEO of ChopDog, and I'm so thrilled to be showing you today how a non-functional prototype with us works. Now, you see a phone screen in front of you right now. That's the same phone screen I have being simulated off my real iPhone, but more on that in a minute. First, let me just explain what is a non-functional prototype. Now, not to be confused with a normal prototype where it's like a cruddy version of an idea, what you're looking at here is the same design process we have all of our clients go into. That means the wireframing, the high fidelity, the product flow, the consultation, the back and forth collaboration, us coming up with the branding, the narrative, the typography, all of that for every screen, for every functionality is accounted for with what you're about to see. And this is huge. The ideal for non-functional prototype with us is pouring a proper foundation so that if you ever do pick up and go into programming, not a single asset, a single dollar you spend with us goes to waste. Now, important to note, and here's where a non-functional prototype separates from a functional MVP, is that there's no programming here. What I'm about to show you is an illusion. It's in prototype purposes for you to demonstrate in front of potential investors, potential users, potential customers to go and raise a capital of funding, to go and collect real user feedback, to go and secure pre-orders from customers to afford development. And this is incredible. It's incredible for our clients who have limited budget and need to get out there. It's incredible for our clients who do have the budget, but they're trying to mitigate their risk and really understand what they're getting. So how does it work? What does a non-functional prototype do? Again, what I'm showing you here is my actual phone. If I tap anywhere on the screen, you'll notice certain sections turn blue. That means it's clickable. So for example, if I click on messages, and I click on the three amigos, check that out. It opens up just like the real app. And not only does it load it, these aren't images, this is an actual prototype, it scrolls. Yep, that's correct. You're really getting a true illusion of the way the app will behave. I can't even scroll down, right? Like once I hit the bottom, it bounces. It's like a real app here. So I scroll all the way back up and I click the three dots, it opens up just like the real app. I'll just click on rename, it creates an illusion of what renaming will look like. Again, you click on somewhere, anywhere that's not clickable, it'll show you what is. You click compose, it gives you an idea. So let's click back, let's click on channels, let's see what's clickable. All tickets. So again, it's completely scrollable. I'm going to click on the plus sign on the bottom right hand corner. And again, notice how it's always fixed to the bottom right, just like the real app. I click on that, it opens up how a new ticket screen would load on the app. And again, I can keep going and going and going. If I click on add reference, It'll show me what it'll look like. I click on company to reference. I'm going to click on a specific contact. I'm going to hit done. It gives you an idea how the app will behave and how it will function. And this demonstrational purpose is huge. Not only do we provide you with every asset you will need, but you're also going to be able to position yourself on your real device, on your phone, how your app will behave. And there's one more kicker here, which is incredible. Not only does it work on your phone, you can share it for someone on a different device altogether. So if you build an iPhone app, but you want someone on an Android device to try it, it will work on Android. If you want to give it to them on a web browser because they don't have a smartphone device, you can. This thing is truly universal, and it's truly robust. And over the last several years, it's helped our clients raise hundreds of thousands of dollars and secure so many pre-orders. It's definitely a route that many people in the startup world do not talk about enough, and one that we definitely encourage you to try.